everyone in this video let us study the concept of linear transformation in order to understand the concept of linear transformation we we'll consider an n dimensional vector x we try to multiply with the matrix a it transforms that vector x into a new vector defined as a into x so this happens at every point x of the n dimensional space r to the power n whole space is transformed or maps into itself there are four kinds of matrix transformation first one let us study now we let us define the matrix a is equal to c 0 0 c we consider a vector defined by the coordinate x y now we are going to multiply this x y uh, vector with the matrix a we get the matrix as c x 0 0 c y so the new vector we are going to get that is defined as c x c y and if the value of c is greater than 1 then it gets set and if the value of c chosen between 0 and 1 we may get a vector which is shrink suppose if you want to get a vector on the opposite side then we have to take the value of c as negative we take the second case a rotation matrix turns the whole space around the origin uh, for example let A be a matrix defined as 0 minus 1, 1, 0. We we'll multiply by a vector x comma y. So when we multiply this with x y, we get the answer as minus y x. Now let us say uh, this vector has got the value x equal to 2, y equal to 0. So when I multiply this matrix with the uh, two zero, I get the answer as zero two. So zero two. I'm going to get this as a vector. So you can see here the turns all the vectors to ninety degrees. So transforming every point x y to minus y comma x. We we'll take the third case. In the third case, a reflection matrix transforms every vector into its image on the opposite side of a mirror. So here, once again, we we'll take the value x comma y. So when we multiply this x comma y, x and y, we get the answer as y x. So whatever we had as x y. It will turn out to be y x. For example, if I have a value somewhere here, say it is two comma two. In that case, you will see that answer turns out to be two comma two. And if I had a value something like two comma one, then the answer is going to be when we multiply by two one, I'm going to get the answer as one two. So I am going to get the reflection. So it is called as 45 degree mirror. Let us take the fourth transformation, where we take the matrix A is equal to 1003, a projection matrix that takes the whole space onto a lower dimensional subspace. Let us consider a vector having uh, the coordinate as x comma y and when we multiply this vector x y with the matrix a we get the result as x 0 so that can be projected like this so we get a line on this uh, x axis the value of the vector is x comma 0 so the exit example shows that If each vector x y is getting transformed in the plane to the nearest point x comma zero on the horizontal axis, and that axis forms the column space of A, 
the y axis that project 0 0 is the null state. Some transformations are not possible. Suppose if I want to shift the origin 0 0, I cannot move this origin because when I multiply this whatever matrix A, it turns out to be 0. And also we see that if I move a vector, the x value, if it goes to x dash, then 2x also must go to 2x dash. In general, I can say that uh, cx must go to cx dash as uh, a into cx dash is equal to c into ax dash. No transformation will not take place. If the vectors x and y go to x dash and the y dash, new value, then there some x plus y must go to x dash plus y dash since ax plus y should equal to ax plus ay. Similarly, a into x dash plus y dash will give us ax dash plus ay dash. Same concept, uh, transformation by matrices, we will try to understand it in a better way with this illustration. Uh, reflection. First, we look into reflection on the y axis. We have taken a transformation matrix A here that is given by minus 1, 0, 0, 1. When I multiply this with x, y, I am going to get the answer as minus x, y. And so, you can see that the vector x, y is multiplied with the matrix a equal to minus 1 0 0 1 uh, then it turns out to be minus x comma y so it rotates the vector by an angle of 90 degrees and second one reflection on the x axis so we have the a matrix that is 1 0 0 minus 1 when we multiply this with x for y we get this as x minus y. So we have a vector where having the coordinates x comma y. When we multiply with this matrix A, we are going to get the x minus y. So this vector is rotated by an angle. Uh, it is get reflected into this quadrant. And the reflection in the line, uh, we take the next one. Uh, we will multiply with a uh, matrix A with x and y. We get same x and y. So we have a coordinate here x comma y. When I multiply with the uh, 1 0 0 1, I should get the same value x comma y. Suppose if I want y comma x, then the matrix A has to be 0 1. 1 0 then answer is going to be y comma x so I can get the value y comma x in the two dimensional space R square let us see how can we expand and contract so first we look into horizontal contraction and expansion uh, now let us multiply a vector x y with a matrix k 0 0 1 so when i multiply with this k 0 0 1 with x y i need to get the answer as k x y for example i have a vector x comma y when i multiply with the uh, matrix k 0 0 1 i am going to get a new vector k x comma y provided k value is between 0 to 1. We call this process as contraction. But in the case if the k value happens to be greater than 1, then we see that same x y gets stretched to new vector k x comma y and we call this as expansion. These whatever expansion or contraction has taken place, it is in the horizontal direction. Now we look into vertical contractions and expansions. And here we can see that 
we have taken a matrix 1 0 0 k and multiplied with x comma y and we get a resultant vector in a coordinate x k y so we have a vector x y when we multiply with this matrix we get x comma k y and here if the k value is between 0 to 1 we can see that it, con it contracts and if the k value happens to be greater than 1 we can see that it is going to stretch itself or get expanded uh, here in two dimensional space uh, the transformations defined by the following matrices are called as shear and here we have the transformation matrix it is defined as 1k 0 1 when we multiply with the vector x comma y we get this as x plus k y and y and a horizontal shear transformation is shown here so when i multiply x comma y with the matrix given by z i am going to get z or depends upon the value of k and k can be positive or k can be negative so that has been illustrated to picture uh, here points in the upper half plane here to the right by a mode proportional to their coordinates that can be observed here and here the you can see the peak is here so it gets stretched out here points in the lower half plane here to the left by a mode proportional to the absolute value of their y coordinates and you can see the left here and you can see here it gets here to the left by an amount uh, defined by the value k x axis do not move by this transformation now we look into vertical shear transformation we have to multiply with a matrix defined as transformation matrix defined as 1 0 k 1 and when we multiply with x y we are going to get a new vector having the coordinate x k x plus y so now let us look into this we have got x comma y and when we multiply with uh, k value being 2 i am going to get a new vector that is x comma y plus 2x and pictorial wise you can see here if you look at this, this has got, this point is the coordinate 0, 2 and here this is now 2, 0. So when I multiply with the value, with the matrix, if the value is equal to 4, you can observe here, it gets stretched to 8. So that's why we call this as vertical shear transformation. Thank you. In the next video, we will look into projections.